What's going on, everybody? We are back for another episode of Instillment HQ. My name is Reese. And my name is Ben. And today we have an unreal guest with us. He's super shit at Apex. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming up on half a million subscribers, does Ooh. all kind of superhero gaming reviews. We have Caboose. How are you, brother? Good. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. I'm excited mm -hmm. to be here. Excited to talk Thanks. with you guys about Man. stuff and yeah. thanks so much for coming out yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man thanks for uh thanks for coming on yeah yeah, yeah thanks, really thanks appreciate for having it. me yeah. on yeah. it's been quite the day so it has been yeah <laughs> it feels like we've known each other for years and i just I met you yeah i know I hate very, true. Yeah. Yeah. very true <laughs> <laughs> love it man yeah um can you give our uh, our listeners and our viewers just paragraph or two of, of who you are and, and what you do sure i'm like much cooler than these guys no. yeah, no, 100%. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um yeah i got a youtube channel uh been running it for about seven years been doing it seriously for like four to five okay uh cover like superhero games you know if you've seen the spider-man game or you know the batman games that have come out mm -hmm. um and yeah i mean just recently I, I stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit with mortal kombat 11 coming out uh, I mainly did it because I, I covered Injustice 2 and that was a fighting game mm -hmm. and it was made by the same developers who made Mortal Kombat. So when MK11 was coming out, I was like, I'm going to give this a shot and see if the the audience kind of cross pollinates. Yep. And luckily it did. And yeah, it's been going. It's been going well. Awesome. I've been That's doing awesome. it full time. I, I went to Toronto Film School. Yep. Out of high school. That's how and you guys know each other, right? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And then yep. uh, ran that 18 month film production course. And mm -hmm. after I graduated, luckily that was right when Injustice 2 was coming out. Mm -hmm. And my channel just caught this big push from that game. I, I don't really know how to explain it. I don't know what it was, but mm -hmm. there was something about that game and me covering it that gained me, I think, something like 50 to 60,000 subscribers within two months. Oh, wow. Wow. Which was pretty insane, and yeah, I remember it was that it was at that moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was at that moment that I remember, like I was, you know, I'd always try to bring up the idea to my brother of trying to do YouTube full time, mm -hmm. and he would kind of laugh at the idea, and not to discredit him, like he always supported me doing it, mm -hmm. but he was always like, you know, you got to go to film school, you know, if, if this yeah. is what your passion is, find a job in that industry. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, you're right, I get it, I get what I get what he was trying sure. to teach me, but uh, like I said, after I graduated film school. Uh, the channel really blew up and he was like, you know, this is uh, <laughs> maybe you should do this full time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it just it's been working out ever since. That's sweet, man. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's Unreal. Cool, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I mean, I was going to ask you, <laughs> yeah. when did you realize you could make a living doing what you do? But I think you covered that. Um, yeah. I mean, like what? So in terms of, yeah, like I know you kind of like blew up in that 50 to 60,000 subscriber range. Mm -hmm. Was that like, how did you know that at that point you're like, okay. Hey, like this idea can become a reality. Was mm -hmm. it because of those subscriber, subscribers or was it like you were just loving it? Or yeah, kind of it was the subscriber gain. And I knew like after I graduated film school, especially that's when I learned a lot about like the craft. And, yeah. you know, as weird as that sounds that it taught me so much about the content creation. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, I used some really bad editing softwares before <laughs> when before I went to film school. And then I learned right. about Premiere Pro and yep. I was like, yeah, right. yeah this, this is the, the one. And I took and I took like a lot of what I learned at film school and applied it to my channel. And I don't know if that's specifically what helped me grow mm -hmm. uh, more so than just the game itself. And, and, and it worked really well with the game because it was something that I can make videos on daily. Mm -hmm. Up until that point, I never really had a game that I can cover daily. Okay. You know, like the Batman games, you can make videos about them. You can talk about the news or the upcoming DLC, but you can't really make a video about you playing a single player game every single day. Mm -hmm. With Injustice, having like the online capability and being able to face off against people, something I always new. had something yeah, for sure. to, to showcase or to show Spice off in my up. videos. They had the gear system. You can customize your characters. So like a video could be dedicated to me making a certain version of Batman or mm -hmm. Superman. And yep. I just, I carried that as far as I could. And I think that's what really helped with the channel. And I think a lot of people enjoy that sort of stuff too. The For customization sure. yep. is always fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it just, it really worked out. And, and yeah, and knowing that I had a game that would last me at least a year with all the DLC they planned to add to the game. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'm going to dedicate one year to upload every single day and see how this works. I'm mm -hmm. going to go full time, not slack. And I did. Every single day for an entire year, That's crazy. 365 wow. days straight, I yeah. uploaded a video. <laughs> Even days when I, you know, if I would go to an event or like a convention, mm -hmm. I would plan the videos out for those days and then wow. have them ready to upload each and every day while I was away. So That's how serious you got it. It was, I was like, very yeah. serious about it. I was very yeah. serious about it and I was very dedicated to it. And not that I'm not anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not because I'm not as motivated. It's because I'm a little more focused on trying to get new equipment and trying to 
really produce the best quality mm -hmm. back then it was just like edit the video and get it out you yep. know and i and i still i, I tried my best with the videos i wasn't slacking yeah, half-assing sure. them mm -hmm. Um, but I just wasn't aware of how much the quality of the videos could improve mm -hmm. until I took a step back. Cause after that year, it was very exhausting. I'm guessing there was probably weeks where, you know, you'd do videos every day and nothing would happen and mm -hmm. no growth. So what was like maybe the motivation of like, you know, I guess, sticking it out through that? Or was that after the, the big spike in subscribers? Well, well we had the big spike in subscribers and then it was, it steadied, like it, it kind of plateaued. But what was always good was the videos were getting views. Like right. people were watching. Right. It didn't matter what I uploaded. Yeah. To a point, they start to slow down. You don't get as much views yeah. as you did mm -hmm. when the game came out. Right. Sure. But there were still people watching, a very consistent <clears throat> amount of people watching. Mm -hmm. So that's what just kept me realizing like, I can't stop this train. You know, it's yeah. for me, I, I look at YouTube and, and this is what I would say to anyone out there who would want to do this. It's like a TV show, a little more of a heightened version of that. Okay. Let's say, you know, Sundays at 7 p.m., you expect a show to be on. If one week it's just not on, mm -hmm. maybe you give it a pass. You come back the next week. If it's not on the next week, for most people, all right, that's it. Pack it up. We're going to another show. Mm -hmm. So I try to look at YouTube in the same way. You want to be as consistent hmm. as possible. I want to upload as much as possible right. within my limits. You know, I'm a human being. Of course. Sure. Um, and I want to keep people involved and keep them engaged and keep them knowing, like, I'm still here. I'm mm -hmm. still around. I haven't gone anywhere. For sure. Mm -hmm. But... It, like I haven't stuck to that entirely, but that's kind of what I try my best to stick to yeah. is to be as consistent with it. Sweet. Man. And, uh, and that's, yeah, like I said, that's what, that's what been motivating me the most was that the views were very consistent. There were still a lot of people watching. Nice. Cool, man. Yeah. yeah. That's unreal. What has been the most gratifying part about owning a YouTube channel mm -hmm. and what has been the most frustrating? Oh boy. When it comes to frustration, <laughs> that that's an easy one. It's, it's, <laughs> It's the people who realize that the the power of being anonymous mm -hmm. is limitless. Mm -hmm. And the things that people say, like, you got to have a thick skin if you want to do this. You mm -hmm. have to be ready for that no stuff. People are going to criticize you unfairly. People are going to yep. say stupid things because it's the internet. For sure. Yeah. But still, it, you know, sometimes it can hurt mm -hmm. when you have an opinion on something and people disagree with it. I got a lot of, like, you know, when I covered Batman Arkham Knight... I, I was very excited for that game. You know, that was my game mm -hmm, that I yeah. was just like, from the moment there was a first little hint of a leak to the very last DLC I covered that game, beginning mm -hmm. to end. That was the first time I met developers. That was the first time I got involved in that world. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's um, awesome. But because I loved the game and there were some people that didn't, I must have been paid off to love the game. <laughs> There's no other option. I can't just like a game. Mm -hmm. I have to be in cahoots oh, with so with, with WB no, Games or something like that. You know, people are like that. And and even in scenarios like you know if, if WB Games invites me out to an event or or I do something affiliated by them and I'm sponsored by them in some way, mm -hmm. people think that that influences my opinion on certain games that they may publish. And and I like that could not be further from the mm -hmm. truth. And the way that I'll always try to combat that is when Injustice Two is around. They added Sub-Zero for Mortal Kombat, and they added Raiden for Mortal Kombat. Okay. And I was loud and clear about how much I did not like that. <laughs> I was like, if I want to play Mortal Kombat characters, I'll go play Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. I told developers to their face <laughs> that I didn't like them adding Mortal Kombat characters into the game. Mm -hmm. right. But people will always they'll look away from that yeah. just to hear that they'll I say. They'll find something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just to hear me say, like, oh, yeah, Batman Arkham Knight's awesome. Oh, are you being paid to say that? Yeah. So that's the most like, frustrating no. part. Yeah. Yeah. Go Shut away. Up, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. That's that's definitely the most frustrating part is the comments and some of the things that people say. Mm -hmm. The most gratifying part for sure has been getting to meet like developers of these games, mm -hmm. getting to have like some sort of recognition from the people who create them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um flying out to the, these events, like doing all this this crazy shit that I've done especially in the past year. Mm -hmm. Like I, if you told like 13, 14 year old me that this is what I'd be doing in mm -hmm. five, six years from now, I'd be, you know, That's I'd be crazy. pretty blown, I'd be pretty blown yeah. away. I definitely yeah. wouldn't it's believe yeah. future me, but like, yeah, having those opportunities, you know, seeing that, knowing that if I make a Mortal Kombat video tomorrow, mm -hmm. there's a really good chance that somebody who's working on the game can hear my feedback and take that into account. I think that's mm -hmm. awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, that's you know? unreal. Cuz then you're just helping the overall community, right? Exactly. Which is kind of like inspiring yeah. in, my, in yeah. my opinion. And and right? I and so I don't want to be I don't want to be the sole voice of the no, community, yeah, but yeah. but just to know that my voice is heard mm -hmm. and just to mm -hmm. know like, you know, I I I know these people and I consider some of them friends yep. is really cool. Mm -hmm. And again, 
I'm not being paid by anyone. You know, even <laughs> yeah. if I'm friends with people at Warner Brothers, it's because like you, you just there's there's this level of respect mm-hmm. when you meet people in the industry and that, that works on these games that how you hard. have immediately because yeah, you know mm-hmm. like every little frame of movement in a game the amount of work that goes into that and the yep. fact that they can construct all that and make a fully fleshed out 10 to 12 hour experience yep. for the player is insane mm-hmm. it's something that really regardless if the game is good or bad should be respected mm-hmm. you can still have your opinion on a game for sure but mm-hmm. i always i'll always have like this, this endless respect for the people in the industry and to know that that respect is reciprocated is really cool mm-hmm. that's yeah. the most gratifying part for me that's awesome. That's awesome man. Man. And I, yeah. I think it's cool too, because even just from talking you, to you today, you've always, you, every argument you, we've had, you've always had like a logical, like, mm-hmm. Hey, I agree with this. I disagree with this. So yeah, vo- exactly. I think your voice is yeah. like, Oh no, screw that. Like yeah. that's bullshit. So I think like, your voice <laughs> in the community yeah. is actually very valuable because yeah. it's a balanced thing where you're like, Hey, I really like this. Mm-hmm. I really don't like this. Yep. And here's why it's not just like, oh, I don't like this. Cause it's subjective. You're like, no, mm-hmm. no, this just doesn't work yeah. because of this. So yeah. that's awesome, man. And I mean, obviously like, I'm nothing without the people that watch. Yeah. Like, granted, I talked a lot of shit about <laughs> some some of the some of the bad eggs. But yeah, yeah. There's mm-hmm. always going to be bad eggs wherever you go, whatever you do. Sure. Of course. Yep. Um, but all the people that support, all the people that subscribe, or you know, click the like button on a video, or just watch the video because it brings them some sort of enjoyment, mm-hmm. like that stuff, that means the world to me. And yeah. that that's definitely been a big part of motivation. You know, you see a comment every now and then of someone who's like man, your videos brighten up my day or something like that. Yeah, and even yeah. if it was just one person, like to know that at least one person out there is getting that, yep. it that's freaking yeah, that's super unreal. cool to me. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. For sure. yeah. Is there any like specific videos that you can think of off the top of your head that have kind of like blown up or been like an unexpected kind of thing? Like what's like your most viewed video? Um, right now, do you know? So my most viewed video is a video about a gl- <laughs> it's about a glitch <laughs> in Arkham Knight where okay. you get to free roam with all I've the characters. It. I've seen it. I yeah. tried it. It's yeah. not. It, yeah. You can't do That's it awesome. anymore. I know. Back in the day. Yeah. And I remember when it when I when people found the glitch because like I, I'm not the one who found it, but when people found the glitch in the community, I remember reaching out to the devs and I was like is it okay if I make a video about this? Like mm. I'm showing off an exploit and they were like, listen, like go for it. But you know, it's a, it's a bug. So mm. it's not going to be there forever. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And then just, I don't know, over time, I guess people just search that shit up and mm. it just ends up really high in the algorithm. It, right? My, my favorite of the bunch is uh, another one of my high viewed videos is my explanation on the ending of Arkham Knight. Okay. And I love it because I was from what I now know, bang on the money. With my explanation, nice. like the the guy who directed the game ended up coming out and saying, yeah, this is what it meant. Wow. And it was exactly what I had That's pretty assumed cool. or yeah. speculated it meant. So it was really cool to to have known like, I was one of the first people to upload what my yeah. interpretation mm-hmm. of the ending was. Exactly. And that's confirmed what it was. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's I, found, I found that pretty awesome. That's yeah. sick, man. That's sweet. You always hear a lot of like people kind of shit talk YouTubers. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, oh, it's not a real job. Like ton of comments I've seen, oh, even, yeah. even just from our little stint at YouTube, it's just been like, what the fuck are you guys doing? What's one thing you would say to those people based on what you know you do day to day and what you continue to do? Well, to those people, I can guarantee, or maybe I can't guarantee, but i say it's highly likely that a lot of them use social media. Mm. And a lot of them probably don't realize how much of a tool social media is. Mm-hmm. Not just something where you can go and spit your thoughts in your brain, which you can do, mm-hmm. but you can also use it to your advantage for sure and any there's there's oh man there's so many opportunities out there nowadays maybe not even just specifically in youtube you look at esports players Mm -hmm. and you see someone like i don't know if you guys have heard of sonic fox he's one of like the premier best fighting game players okay dude paid off his college just by winning fighting game tournaments (laughs) that's amazing (laughs) if anyone ever doubts how much there is to do here or how much of a career can be found here Mm -hmm. I'll just tell them that sort of example. Or mm. you look at someone like, I don't know, any any of the big content creators. There's so many out there now. You look yep. at Lily Singh, Superwoman. She, yep. She's from Toronto. Mm-hmm. She's got her own talk show now. Yeah, it's insane. And NBC. it all came from her doing YouTube. Yep. You know, wh- whether you start there and you end somewhere else, there's still, say, it's so important. Yeah, there's always going to be opportunity. There, yeah. you know? It's a good starting no thing doubt. for just yeah. to, so people can actually see what you can do, and then mm-hmm. you can branch out from mm-hmm. there, right? So yeah. if you if you have the hard work, like it, you're not gonna you're not gonna blow up immediately. So I get why some people, you know, if I started my YouTube channel yesterday, some people might be trepidatious about yeah. that. My family might no be doubt. trepidatious, yep. but like what what's going on? What are you doing here? Mm-hmm. And that's why in most cases I try not to, you know, when I, especially when I was starting out, I tried not to like drop everything mm-hmm. in my life and focus solely on it. Mm-hmm. I made I made sure 
that I went to school, I got an education, I did everything I had to do. And once I felt that it was viable, mm-hmm. I then did it full time. Pull the trigger, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what I would recommend to most people as well. Mm-hmm. Don't like, you know, don't quit your job tomorrow yeah. and mm-hmm. start doing a YouTube sure. channel. You yeah. know? Start it up, give it a go, mm-hmm. like see what you can do with it. Um, but wait, give it, give it a yeah. minute, let it simmer, <laughs> let it start to grow. And then if you find yourself gaining an audience, if you find yourself, you know, making some good income off of it, once you know for sure, like you have to be positive, <laughs> then do it full time. And trust me, as long as you love what you're covering, as long as you love what you're doing, mm-hmm. like fuck anyone who's trying to tell you that <laughs> yeah. it's not it's not a career, you know? That's unreal, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, I think we kind of discussed a little bit about this, but mm-hmm. what would you say is the like highest point that you've had at YouTube and mm-hmm. your lowest point? Like were there some struggles, were there some mm-hmm. amazing achievements? Like I mean, there's definitely some struggles. Um mm-hmm. YouTube can always be like it's, it's definitely not all sunshine and rainbows, you know? Yeah. Like, they're, it's hard. You're, you're cooped up in a room sometimes. Yep. <laughs> sometimes it's it, because of the way that YouTube makes changes to their website. It can really affect certain con- content creators. Mm-hmm. 100%. Like, I'm sure you guys have heard of COPPA and all that stuff yep. that's currently mm-hmm. going on with the kids' content on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I faced a lot of trouble with demonetization because of uh, Mortal Kombat being a very violent game. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. Those were not necessarily like lowest lows or anything, but those were definitely some really difficult times for mm-hmm. me. How do you how do you get through something like that? I mean, you just kind of got to stick through it, just crawl through the mud because mm-hmm. eventually that something's good, something good's going to come from it. True. You know, it's the same when I started out the channel and it wasn't really doing anything or, you know, I'd upload a couple of videos and they get no views, like mm-hmm. I don't I don't try to let it be like all right, that's it. Time to hang it up. Mm-hmm. We're yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. I always just see it as a, hey, like, even in any and in any job, unless you have, like, you know, if you have a specific salary, then, yeah, whatever, it's steady. Mm-hmm. But in cases like freelancers or, you know, people people that are in a similar line of work, there are going to be months where, you know, lower income or just not enough yeah. views, whatever it might be. Then you just got to tough it through, man, because there's light at the end of the tunnel. And there's been situations in the past year where I was like, fuck, like. This is, this is not working out. These are some bad mm. months for the channel. Yeah. Uh, and not because I wasn't getting the views. It's because uh, Mortal Kombat was a violent game. And YouTube had been really cracking down on that. Mm-hmm. And demonetizing mm-hmm. videos to where like, you know, even if I censored all the crazy shit, they would be like, no, nope, sorry. It's Mortal yeah. Kombat 11's in the I title. Remember Raka, You're getting demonetized. Raka was facing that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, so there, was, there was a good string of months where it's like no matter what I uploaded... It would get demonetized, mm-hmm. um, but granted, like they're they're starting to change that policy. They, I, I believe, like the CEO of YouTube was like, they're going to try and reach out to certain advertisers that would want to place their ads. In, like, I've already kind of noticed that too. Even some I watch, like some oh, of yeah? the comedy ones, even just with like the swearing and stuff. Like mm-hmm. you, you have a lot of like, I think NordVPN is like a big one. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. even like in video advertisements yeah. are, are yeah. gaining traction. So I find. and and that's that was like the silver lining mm-hmm. of what and what I ended up doing is I instead of just sitting there and being like, oh, well, I'm making no revenue off of these videos, I'm done. Yeah, I just decided, okay, you know what. We're not going to censor these Mortal Kombat videos anymore. I'm going to leave them up as is. I know they're going to get demonetized either way. Mm-hmm. So why go through all the work yeah. of mm-hmm. trying to filter them? I'm just going to get a couple sponsorships a month mm-hmm. and just let it fly. Yep. And it's and it's been working out. I've been sweet. I've been pretty fortunate, you know. And I've been doing a lot of traveling. I've been going to a lot of events. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I've been I've been pretty fortunate uh, in terms of like highest of highs. Oh boy. There, there are a lot of there are a lot of instances. I think for me though, like what really comes to mind immediately, is um, like I was saying earlier, my first interaction with developers or anyone working within the games industry was with Batman Arkham Knight, mm-hmm. and it was one of the coolest moments for me, going to my first ever E3 in mm-hmm. 2015, and it was like a last minute trip. I got a pass from a friend of a friend, <laughs> who hooked it up for me. Wow. Me and my brother booked everything super last minute. And I got to go meet the devs of Batman Arkham Knight, Rock, the Rocksteady mm-hmm. folks. And they took me backstage. They let me demo the game. They did like a challenge with the with the people online where I would set a high score for a certain thing within the <laughs> within the game modes that they had available. And then someone would have to try and beat it and they could win a shirt. That's um, I had the whole team sign a shirt that I had. I still have it. I think some of the signatures are fading though, which is unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> um, but still, like I, I had a shirt with a signature of like everyone on the team, which was... Really that was, awesome. That was a game that you yeah. loved too. Right? Yeah, so and, like, and yeah, yeah, it was and it was a franchise that I love. And then I remember 
uh, towards the end of that game's run, they were doing one last um, map pack with like different maps for like, you know, the, the different stealth challenges or the combat mm-hmm. challenges you could do in the game. And they were all based on community votes. Okay. And what they were doing with each map was if they chose the map, they would take a quote from someone in the community and place that next to the map when you select it. Oh, cool. And my quote made it in for one of the maps. So my name, Caboose, is... Oh, shit. Sorry, I hit your laptop. Mm. Uh, <laughs> my name, Caboose, is in Arkham Knight. That's so yeah. sick. <laughs> yeah, that's unreal. Yeah, yeah Really yeah. cool. That's unreal. Man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How'd you come up with that name, by the way? Um, I see. Okay. So I remember it being Caboose XBL when we were in yes, yes. film school. Yeah. And then uh, and a PlayStation exclusive mm. Spider-Man game came along and yep. I was like, well, XBL is probably not going to cut <laughs> the it. The Xbox Live <laughs> tag on the ends. Yeah. 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 And I mean, everyone just called me Caboose anyway, so I just yeah. I just dropped the XBL. But mm-hmm. uh, Caboose, you play Halo. Yep. I don't know. Do you know Red versus Blue? Do either of you I know do. Red versus Blue? I, I, I knew the reference. I'm not like a huge fan right. of Red versus Blue, mm-hmm. but yeah, I did understand the so reference. So there was a web series people like people used to do because there was a theater mode in Halo, so they mm-hmm. would make their own like kind of short films with the yeah. game. Yeah. And there was a web series from like the very first Halo game mm-hmm. up Rooster until Chief. however long. Yep. Uh, called Red versus Blue. Yeah. And it was like a comedy. It's actually really funny. And mm-hmm. I think they even got it on Netflix now. Yeah, which they is do crazy. have it on Netflix. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then there's a character called Caboose, and he's really dumb, and I liked <laughs> him a lot, and I just decided to adopt the name. Nice. And I told, <laughs> when my again, my first E3, I told the like the CEO of Rooster Teeth, Bernie Burns, I was like, I, I named my YouTube channel after Caboose from Red versus Blue. Mm-hmm. And they were doing, like YouTube gaming was just launching okay. around that time. And they were hosting like that show, that mm-hmm. booth. And he was like, do you want to jump on camera really quick for an interview? Oh, shit. And the dude like, like interviewed yeah. me. <laughs> dude, I was, I was young, short, kind of <laughs> had no idea what the hell was going on. But I was like, yes, <laughs> yeah. I do. Yeah. He threw me on camera, started talking to me, asking me about my channel. And that um, that's another highest of highs. I don't know why I didn't think of that yeah. one. But yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty surreal moment because mm. he's the pretty much the reason why I call myself Caboose and why I created a YouTube channel technically. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that was, and you met the guy. Circle, right? yeah. 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 There you go. I remember on camera, I was telling him, I was like, yeah, yeah, I call myself Caboose because red versus blue. You know, I just really like that character, really love the show. And he was like, yeah, that's actually why I brought you on camera so that I can have you liable to, to sue you. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Shit your pants for a second. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Open oh, yeah. your mailbox the next day. Fucking yeah. lawyer letter. Oh, yeah. fuck. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Cease and desist. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, he, he interviewed me and then he like, we, we talked shortly afterwards and he just congratulated me on my success and yeah. Sweet, man. It's pretty dope. That's and that's where yeah. it comes from. Not the end of a train. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see someone's ass and I was like, whew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a fine Got to yeah. name myself after that one. <laughs> just a dumb red versus blue character. I love it, man. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Do you have any advice for some young YouTubers such as ourselves uh, yeah. trying to crack into the industry? Yeah, um, just be consistent. Like, don't don't let a lack of views or a lack of subscribers keep you down or anything. Like, it takes time. Mm-hmm. Stuff like this has got to simmer. You got to just keep working at it. And inevitably, when people see the passion that you're putting into it, they will, you know, the, they'll arrive. Like, mm-hmm. you'll you'll grow a fan base if you're as long as you're consistent. Like I said, don't drop everything for it. Yeah. But if you can do it, if you can manage it mm-hmm. while doing whatever else you're doing. Just go for it. Like there, for me, there is nothing to lose mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. out of trying it. Yeah. If if you tried it for long enough and it's not working out and you've decided, you know what, I just don't want to put the time into it, fair enough. Mm-hmm. But I feel like anyone who is consistent and networks and tries to get out there because it, it's very difficult nowadays to just upload to YouTube and kind of let it be that mm-hmm. you gotta, you gotta like reach out to, to people because there's always someone who knows someone who knows someone. Yeah. There's always right. a chain that you can follow to get your voice heard. Mm-hmm. And I think it's very important to network yourself, use social media to your advantage, use those hashtags, all that stuff as corny as it may seem. It helps big time. Yeah, for sure. Having Twitter and having Instagram and using them and making sure to, cross promote my other platforms through them Mm -hmm. has been a big reason as to why my stuff was able to grow as much as it did, you know, to, to really showcase on my Twitter that I was a big DC fan. Even if I had like four or 5,000 followers on Twitter, that's, that's a potential four or 5,000 followers that aren't 
aware of my YouTube channel yeah. that yeah. I can bring over to my YouTube channel because they're following me clearly because well they like what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. And I translate that into my YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. So right. just network like crazy, use social media, don't give up on it and uh, just be consistent. Be as consistent as you can be. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's, all right, right. Man. Yep. That's awesome. How do you, or how will you kind of continue to evolve your channel? That's a good question. Um, Cause MK was really the first time I did something that wasn't a superhero game, mm -hmm. but it was still so tied to what I'd already covered previously. Mm -hmm. So it didn't feel like a major departure. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like I was covering like God of War or something, mm -hmm. you know, like it's still so connected to what I've already been covering with injustice. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of like evolving, I don't know. I think, I think I'm pretty comfortable with the way that, I've structured the channel and, and the name that I've made for myself. Mm -hmm. I think what I want to do is put my face in more of these videos. It's a lot more of just my voice yeah. covering news or making content, whatever it might mm -hmm. be. I want to put my face out there a little more. Just get, let people know like, Hey, this is what I look like. Cause like I get these weird comments every now and then if I'll do like a reaction to a certain trailer for a game, mm -hmm. people will be like, Oh, so that's what you look like. Oh, there's a face reveal. It's like, <laughs> no, my face has been in plenty of videos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I not your fans, you know? not those OG videos. <laughs> I remember the videos sitting at the desk with a lot of hats yeah. behind you. I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an OG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That was a, that yep. was a cool set. That was a cool set. Mm. We had to tear that down because my brother had a baby. Mm. <laughs> True. Well, that'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. Mm. Um, but I think yeah, I think I'm pretty comfortable with the with the position that I'm in here currently with the channel. Um, there's been obviously some teasing of a potential new Batman game, mm. and whenever the plan is to reveal that. That'll be great. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to that. That'll bring me back to some glory days that, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm very much looking forward to. Oh, yeah. I just, it just depends on when that's going to happen. It's mm -hmm. just, it's all just a waiting game at this yeah. point. I'm just waiting for the next big thing. Cause Mortal Kombat, although they got some DLC characters, like we got Joker coming out this month. They mm -hmm. got Spawn coming out in two months, which is gonna be that looks cool. freaking cool. Yeah. Um, it seems like it's, it's running its course. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they have more plans for DLC after. If they do, then great. That'll be a big resurgence yeah. for the game. But uh, if they don't, then things are going to start slowing down after spawn. And I'll just have to wait for the next big thing. And once that comes, I'm ready to just get right back into yep. it. You know? Jump at it. Just, yeah. I guess to answer your question directly is I'm comfortable with where I'm at right now. And I, I'm not sure if I uh, need to evolve anything just yet. Cool. Right on, man. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. That's sick. Except for like behind the scenes stuff, I guess you can. Yeah. Upgrading equipment. Upgrade. Yeah. That, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. 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 So how, how did you, like, based off of that, how did you carve out your niche in terms of knowing that, like, hey, I know I want to do superhero games. Was that just because it was your passion or was it like... Well, yeah. So the channel started, uh, it was created specifically in part because, like I said, I like the, the character. That's why it, that was my name. Yeah. Um, but the channel specifically started because I was in a Call of Duty clan at the time. Uh, it was the Amp Clan. They had their own YouTube channel. And I joined that clan when they had 500 subscribers on YouTube. And it was just like any typical Call of Duty kind of YouTube channel, mm -hmm. uploading like montages, quick scopes, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> the the, the over edits. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was very much into Call of Duty at the time. And the clan leader was like, you should make your own YouTube channel. Like, you should do this. And I was like, you know what? Like, yeah, I should. Because that's what that's all I used to do anyways. I was, I would, instead of watching a cartoon or watching whatever on TV, I'd get up in the morning before I go to school and I'd watch YouTubers. Mm. I'd watch YouTube videos, you know. I don't know if you guys remember Hutch or CNNers or all like the OG Call of Duty guys on mm -hmm. YouTube. I used to be a big fan of them and I always wanted to do that one day. I was just super young and didn't think I had the means to do it. Mm. Right. Um, but I made the channel and that Call of Duty clan like blew up. Like it ended up running its course past 100,000 subscribers, which back when it was happening was huge. Mm -hmm. Um, any channel that was past 100,000 was like yeah. big time. Big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then he did a bunch of stupid shit and the channel no longer exists because of all the stupid shit that he did. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, and, and I, because of being a part of that clan, I would make Call of Duty videos. Right. Um, but it's funny because my first ever YouTube video is a Call of Duty gameplay. Me getting like the, the nuke in MW3 was MOAB or whatever. Mm hmm. Um, with my review of the first Avengers movie. <laughs> so it was like what I started out with to what it would inevitably be <laughs> yeah, yeah. all in one video. That's amazing. Um, That's hilarious, yeah. My quality was terrible. It was super quiet. I don't know why. I still to this day can't explain it. Nice. Um, but that was my first video. And then it just came to a point when I was making Call of Duty videos. I was like, I don't like this game. 
Like, <laughs> why am I playing it? Nice. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just super frustrating. Like, if you're not getting insane gameplays, nobody's going to watch. Yeah. So I'm just like, fuck it. Like, I don't want to cover this anymore. Mm -hmm. And then it was right around the time that Arkham Origins was announced. Mm -hmm. And that was WB Montreal's, like, filler game yep. until Arkham Knight. And I was, like, super into those games. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big fan of superheroes. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to cover this. Yeah. I'm going to cover the news for it. Nice. And I just did that. Like any new pieces of information that came out for the game, I would cover it. Mm -hmm. Then they had the first Injustice game coming out, and mm -hmm. I covered that. I met some really great uh, other content creators around that time, which are still my friends to this day and whose channels have grown with mine and communities that we both share, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and I just realized, like, this is this is what I like to do. And it's because I was passionate about that stuff. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't like Call of Duty. Yeah. I just played it recreationally, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once I made it my, or tried to make it my career, I realized how much I didn't like the game. Because then Cause it, it just was, became work. Right? Yeah, because so, yeah, it was yeah. just super yeah. frustrating. And if I'm not getting good gameplay, then I'm not feeling like I'm producing good content. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it can get a little Vicious frustrating. Vicious cycle there. For sure. Yeah. 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 So I just switched over to covering superhero games, covering the news for them, um, covering like, obviously doing like a review and then specifically with Injustice 2 was where I was like, okay, I need to find something to upload daily. I'm just going to jump online for 20 minutes and play. Yeah, I did it with the beta. The videos did extremely well. And I was like, I am doing this when yeah, the game yeah. comes out. <laughs> yeah. And the rest is history. Just uh, ever since Arkham Origins was when I was like, okay, I'm going to cover superhero games. Mm -hmm. and, that's unreal. Yeah. Caboose Origins. Yep. That's exactly. it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's sick. Well, like, I guess we'll wrap it up now, yeah. but is there, is there anything you want to plug right now or where can people find you? Yeah, you can find me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at CabooseEK, youtube.com slash Caboose. Unreal. And uh, yeah, if you're looking forward to a potential Batman game, if you're looking forward to more MK content in the next two months, uh, I got you covered. Incredible. Unreal. Yeah. 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 Well, well, thanks so much for coming down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, yeah really appreciate really it. Having appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Thanks a lot. It's been awesome. Amazing. Sweet, man. All right. Well, there it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon on Instillment HQ. Till next time.